Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. I just gotta tell you, you know, I just I just was shuffling your cards, getting ready for your reading, and I can see the full moon from here. It's not full yet, obviously, but I see the moon um, on its way to becoming full, and it's just it just looks amazing. I just thought I'd tell you, not that you care. <laughs> All right, Aries. So we have the Knight of Inspiration, the Sun. Ooh, the Ten of Voices, Seven of Materials, Knight of Voices, the Four of Wands, the Three of Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Star, the Death card, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Materials. Beautiful. All right. Woo. Four of emotions. Okay, so you are not in communication with this person right now or reduced communication. So the signs that I see on the board are Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Capricorn, Cancer, um, Taurus, Gemini, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio and Virgo. And then down here, Virgo. So you may be dealing with anybody that has those signs in their charts. You may not be. Um, I just am letting you know what they are because people have been wanting to hear them lately. So your overall energy is the four of cups, the four of emotions. And this particular doc, this woman is sitting there going, you know, I just really don't want all these other options I have right now. Uh, I'm just, you know, kind of looking at my life saying I want to work on other things. I want to focus on other things. But every once in a while, this person crosses your mind. Um, it's possible that you may want to reconnect with someone. We do have the, uh, the energy of Mercury retrograde um, occurring right now. And there's this little energetic kiss that seems to be happening on a telepathic level between you and this person, Aries. And so, I mean, that's actually quite adorable. This person is daydreaming about you. This person is, is wanting to connect or you with them. Now, Aries, I'm placing you on this side, your person on this side. Feel free to swap characters if that is necessary. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. I love to have cross watchers here. Please no Aries bashing in the comments. As always, feel free to swap sides. All right, enough of my announcements. Ooh, hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. I put up a lot of content. All right, on the thought level, how you're thinking about this person. We have the Knight of Wands. So you may be having, you know, some passionate thoughts and fantasizing about your person. Um, but the Knight of Wands is about taking action. So I do believe you're, you're considering taking some sort of action towards your person here. And um, it's unclear as of right now what that action is. We'll very likely see that as we move forward, but this is you desiring to take some sort of action. They, however, are not taking any action. They're waiting, 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 waiting. So this person feels like they've put a lot of effort and energy into some aspect of their life. And right now they just don't have the time or energy to communicate or reach out. So I don't see them putting any effort. They're waiting on you for some reason, Aries. On a heart level, we have the sun here. This could be an awakening to how you feel about this person. Um, receiving some sort of enlightenment about what this person means to you in some way, shape, or form. Doesn't necessarily have to be love, just the fact that this person holds a place in your life. The sun is also about the fact that this person creates a sense of happiness within you, a sense of peace. And so that's beautiful, absolutely fantastic to see. For them, on a heart level, they want to communicate something. So perhaps the two of you have not been in communication for a while. Now we see them desiring to charge forward, but their mind and their heart have not met at the same point. Their mind is saying, no, 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 wait. But their heart is saying, yes, let me talk to Aries. And so there seems to be a little bit of a back and forth internal energy with them. Now, interestingly, you have the Ten of Swords. 
I feel you want to take this action towards them, but you've been through so much in your life. You're like, ah, I just don't know if it's the right time. I don't know if I can handle anything else right now. Like, I don't know if I have the energy and the capacity to communicate and start something with this person right now. But I do see you want to, and we'll get to that in a minute. You absolutely do want to. So with the Four of Wands, and for those of you that don't, feel free to put yourself on the opposite side, okay? <laughs> they have the Four of Wands. So there's this sense, they feel this sense of harmony with you. They feel this sense of connection with you. But once again, I just don't see any action-oriented, you know, movement from this person. The Four of Wands could be that, you know, there's been a time in the, your connection where there's been a lot of hope, a lot of, a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, a sense of peace. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. This person is grateful to have known you. Now, they have a star. They may be focused on their business because we do have the Ten of Coins as their overall energy. Um, so there could be some focus on, on, you know, their financial stability. But with the star, it's also a sense that, you know, you may be everything that they've been looking for, Aries. You may be exactly what they've been wanting in their life. I don't see them expressing that, though. Their biggest challenge we have is the death card. So if something has happened between you in the past, this person may be holding on to that. Um, if there's something that they've recently let go of, that seems to be a challenge for them moving forward. Now as to why that is a challenge, it could be just because there's, there's some healing that's needed. But oftentimes when we see the death card, it looks like this is this person is needing to release something that's happened between the two of you in the past, perhaps. Um, sometimes that can be difficult for some. I do see them, however, focused on their work, their financial stability, their home life. Um, with the 10 of coins, they're feeling really peaceful, really settled. Everything's going really great, except for whatever this is that they're struggling to release. And perhaps they'll be able to release that once the two of you are able to connect. Because I see here with this three, of this three of Cups, there's a desire to reunite with this person. For those of you that don't want, don't want your person, this is a desire to hang out with friends and socialize. <laughs> so let me just note that because I know some of you Aries are like, I don't want that person, I want somebody new and that's perfectly fine. Your challenge is actually to find something new right now. I don't foresee that happening. Um, it's on the challenge position. And the reason being is because it looks like there's still a connection between you and this person. There's still a desire to reach, reach towards this person and connect with them. There's still a desire to reunite with them and spend some time catching up, maybe grabbing a drink, something of that nature. You also have the king of voices. So I do see you being the one to reach out, you being the one to communicate, you know, you being the one to send that first text message, to, send, to make that phone call. Now, your overall energy for the week, we have the nine of materials. It's an energy of success, but it's also an energy of independence and freedom. So I really don't see the two of you coming to a point of togetherness this week, but I do see that communication and seeing one another appears to be mutually on each other's mind. So that looks pretty good. Let me take an Oracle card. Oh, look at that. See? Hmm. All right. So right now we have the void. It says stop, embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Okay. So this is either for the cross watcher or for you. And it's saying, okay, this week, it's important that you take this time to yourself. It's important that you embrace this alone time because right now one of the two of you is in need of some healing energy. One of the two of you is in need of taking a break. With the full moon coming up on the weekend, you could be feeling very tired. You could be feeling a little bit out of energy as we move through the rest of the week. And it's possible that that, that is the reason why they're saying, okay, wait a minute. Right now, focus on you, take a pause, because one of you is in need of some extra time and some extra space. Um, but it does look really, really fantastic, Aries. I mean, I do see both of you 
both of you would like to connect. And so that looks absolutely wonderful. You know, a text message might not hurt between the two of you um, in the process, but it does look like there, there's gonna be a real independent energy this week. All right, Aries, love and light to you. I'll see you again soon, bye-bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.